Hi friends, Miss Reagan here today. We have a very special fun thing to do today. We are building leprechaun traps. Oh, look at that, that bounty of gold and lucky charms and goodies that will be irresistible for any leprechaun. And when they come up, all you gotta do is pull the string and they're trapped. Dun, 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 dun. We can decorate this however you want to decorate it. Whether it's stickers, drawing on it, you can paint. You can let your little heart's desire go wild. The nice thing about this kit, what comes in here, is you get to decide. Do you want to be fun and creative and do just let your cre uh, imagination take over? You can look for other objects that you want to use around your house. You don't have to just use what's in this bag. Or if you just say, no, I want to make that. You can keep watching and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Ready to get started? Let's go. First up in our bag, let's see what goodies come in. We have this nice big piece of paper that we will use to fold to make our box. We have a nice big old bag of Lucky Charms. You can decide how much you want to use. You can use it as a snack to encourage your creative process whatever works for you. We have a bunch of cotton balls to be our clouds for the rainbow. We have some squares for our rainbow foundation. Really attract those leprechauns because here's follow the rainbow and here's the pot of gold and goodies. And then we also have this bag of goodies. We have our gold. We have fun confetti that you can glue on. We have cardboard uh, cutouts that you can glue on. Our string to pull a trap. Your popsicle stick that you can use to prop it up. And lots of stickers. Not to mention our very nice cauldron, pot, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Ready to get started? Let's go. First up, let's start with our foundation. As you can see, I just cut these in some fun shapes. You can do whatever shapes you want. You can cut them into circles. You can cut them into rainbows. You can do all stars, all clovers. I am just gonna cut around and go like this. And once you get all of these cut out, like however you wanna go, you can line them up. Ready? Let's do it. And there we have it. So then what you can do is either you can glue all of these here together, but for our video right now, I'm gonna do a quick sneaky thing. And I'm just gonna go like this. So it keeps all of them together. And then there's our foundation for our trap. Next up, Let's work on our box. So you're going to take it so it's long side, so it's sideways like this. And you're not going to fold it all the way in the middle, but close, about right there. Just like that. Now we're going to unfold it. We're going to do the same thing this way. Again, not all the way. That doesn't have to be perfect, but close, just like that. The more you make sure it lines up and is straight, the easier it's going to be to make our box. Okay, so we see you have two lines this way and two lines this way. Then we're going to bring this in and see how it kind of goes like that. And just tuck it in. Just like that. And so we're going to bring this in. So these meet in the middle as well. And it'll look prettier if you bring them and make sure they're on the inside of the box as opposed to the outside. See how we did that? Dun, dun, dun. And feel free to rewind or pause as needed. And then what I did, 
you just tuck those in right like that. And you can put uh, some tape or some glue to keep that there. Next up, we do the same thing over here. Tuck those in like that. And we, yeah, you can kind of go here and then bring that and try to line it up as good as you can. Da -da -da. And then we're gonna fold that again. So it helps keep it nice and sturdy so your leprechaun cannot escape because that would not be good. And then you can put some tape here so it stays. There's that. Let's put some tape on this side too, or you can glue it, either one. And there we have our box. Now what I would say before we get any farther is I think this is the time to decorate it because it's a lot easier to decorate it now rather than later. And you can decorate the outside and the inside because you want the inside to look pretty for the leprechaun since they think it's really fun. And so it's not just pretty on the outside, it's pretty on the inside so they want to come in. And that way you can go boop. But it's also pretty on the outside too. So you can use all the goodies that come in your bag to decorate it however you want. Then what we're gonna do is I have attached this. You can't really see it because of our cotton balls, but I just put some tape there. You can do tape or glue, however you want. And I think here, because the way I have it, I'm only gonna tape it a little bit here and a little bit here, but that helps make sure it stays there. I think tape is easier for this rather than glue. So if you have tape, I would definitely use it here. Oh, I'm just gonna go like this. You can see how in this one I have this space here and on this one it's more of a flat line so it was easier to tape it, but it's really whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go right like this. Try to line it up as close as I can. And we'll do that. And that way it stays together. You can go boop, just like that. So then, Next up, after you've decorated it, I'm not gonna decorate my, this one, but you see how we decorate it over here. And you can color it. If you have glitter at home, do whatever you want. You can, like I said, we have all these confetti, you can glue on there, that sort of thing. Next up, we're gonna work on our handy dandy little stick that we can use to put hold it up. You can come in here. You're gonna need the string and you're gonna need our popsicle stick. So first up, you might wanna paint this. You can decorate it, you can color it green, orange, any of the colors of the rainbow, whatever your heart's desire is. And then I just taped this on ours. You can tape if you wanna glue, if you want to have your grown-up help you with some hot glue, it is whatever you want to do. So I just want to boop, right like that. Then what I did, see you got your string here? That's how you're going to catch them. Dun, dun, dun. Then we're just going to take this, and you might need to kind of wrap that around there a little bit. This isn't the best tape. This is special book tape that we use on our books, so it doesn't like to stick to other things besides paper. And then you're just gonna go here, or if you want it to be a little prettier, you could put it on the inside so you can't see it as well. Well, let's get it a little closer up, that way it'll stay. Dun, dun, dun. You might want to use glue for this and tape. It's up to you. And maybe I'll use another piece of tape just to keep it there really good. Leprechaun traps are all about problem solving. You gotta figure out what's gonna work for yours. So once we get it all taped up, boop -a -doo, just like that. 
Then we'll go like this. Once you have it, ta-da! All you gotta do is pull, and there you go. Now, we're pretty much done aside from decorating, but what you can do is you can see how in this one, I put some of my cotton balls in here, and that way you can make it look like you have even more gold and stuff, because it'll fill it up and you can just put them in on top of it. And it looks like it's super full of gold, doesn't it? So much. And then you, like I said, you can put your lucky charms in there. Dun, dun, dun. Put that there all around get out all your goodies and you can even put your confetti just around here because our fun confetti we have rainbows and clovers and pots of gold and even more gold in there so from here on out it's really however you want to make it you get to decide make sure you send us pics we want to see how your traps worked out bye friends